Hi everybody, Aaron with AOP Tech, and in this video today we're going to be talking about how to do bulk password resets. Because I know when all those kids come back to school, those Google passwords that they knew by heart, well they forgot them of course. And I don't want to have that line out your door of everyone trying to do password resets, so we're going to do a en masse password reset. Here we go. So here we are, we're looking at the bulk user info that we downloaded from Google. And I talked about that in a previous video, uh, which I will certainly link to up here. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, go watch it, then come back to this video. So here we have our filtered results. And I filtered, I explained how I did that last time. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to grab um, just these students. And so we're going to copy them. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to come to our admin console and we're going to come to the little plus button in our users panel. And we're going to choose the option for bulk user upload. And you're saying, so essentially what we did is we downloaded all of our users. We're going to change the password and then we're going to re-upload those users to the admin console. And so to do that, we're going to need the CSV template. And so we're going to come here and get a blank CSV template that is configured for the uploading. So here we have the blank template and we notice that it has um, some required columns and some new columns. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in and you're going to want to delete the header, uh, any extra information. So for example we have uh, some extra information that, that just came over so we can go ahead and delete that information and we don't need anything over here so just make sure to, to clean up the data and get rid of anything that is extraneous um, so right now you should have the first name last name email address password and this is really helpful the org unit path now right now the passwords are just four asterisks so what would happen is if I was to take this file and upload it right now, no password change would occur. But for this video, we're, we're, this is the back to school, and we're going to do a bulk password reset. And so you have a couple options. Um, certainly, you could do this, uh, say, change me one. And I'm actually going to type that in the second option here. We'll go change me one. I've changed all our passwords to change me one. Uh, I did the, just the first two and then I dragged that down to affect all the other users. Uh, keep in mind Google does require that each password be a minimum of eight characters. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over and this is going to be on column X. Uh, and uh, they all do kind of run together so if you need to expand it you can. Uh, change password at next sign in and for this I'm going to do in all capital letters true. And then again I'm going to drag this down. And what that's saying is when I upload these users to Google, this change me one will be their first password and then it will prompt them to put in a new password. Now there is some concern about doing um, the entire school all at once, especially with a common password. You could potentially have students that sign into like their friend's account uh, and to reset the password. So you do want to make sure that you're aware of that. Uh, and so I would recommend maybe doing this uh, by grade level at a time and maybe you change these so it's not the same for every school or for every grade. It's change me one, change me two, change me three. Um, and certainly I would not do the admin and faculty password resets at the same time I'm doing students because we don't want to have a student all of a sudden signing in as the principal. That would not be good. But let's say you wanted to make these random. So certainly you could just type in change me and, and that, would, that would be a un generic password for everybody. But if you are concerned about maybe you want to be able to print something out and, and use a mail merge function and, and give every teacher a list for every student, I really like the random function that Excel has. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is for, for our purposes right now, I'm just going to delete uh, change me one. So to do that, we're going to use an Excel function called rand between. 
So I'm going to put in, in my first cell, which is D2 equals parentheses rand. And we see rand between pop up. And we know that our password needs to have eight digits. So we're actually going to do 10 million. So one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, comma, nine, comma, space. And I'm going to do the same, the top number all with nine. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close parentheses. So it generated an eight digit number for us. And I'm just going to drag this down. And so that formula is going to apply to all my students. So now what I can do is I can take this document. I'm going to go ahead and save it. So once I save it, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to choose the bulk user upload option. I'm going to attach my CSV file. And what that's going to do, and these are users that I already have in my system, it's going to update their password with the new password. And if you click on the user, and then when you click on the user, you'll actually be able to click on where it says password settings under security. And you should see the require password change switched to on. So let's give this a try. Okay, so I uploaded my document. Now I do need to, I'm gonna go ahead and just click refresh. And then when I click on my new user, now, the, the nice thing, I'm not going to be able to see what the password is, but because I did change it, remember when we just checked it, it was set to off. And when we check on our password settings, we notice that require password change has been set to on. So we could, um, whether we're using the you change me one password or whether we're using a unique password, uh, we can give those passwords out to the students on that first day back to school. They're going to log in. It will prompt them because of this to change their password to something new, something that they want. That way they are not knocking on my door asking to reset passwords. So this is Aaron for AOP Tech and hopefully you've enjoyed that video. Like I said, this is a video series on the admin console and you can check out the next video in the series right over there and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comments below. So Aaron for AOP Tech, thank you so very much.